Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you've seen any of the previous videos on this channel, uh, I'll be surprised for a start. But uh, I did promise to try and do a video every week. I haven't really succeeded in that, but I am going to try a little bit more um, to keep up with that promise. Um, while we've got this car in stock at the moment, I thought it would be interesting to do a video. It's probably the, it's actually the first Nissan 370Z I've had in stock. so. I thought I'd take it for a bit of a drive. I've had plenty of 37, uh, sorry, 350Zs in stock before. Um, and I've always liked them, and I've always wanted to have a 370Z in stock. So when I saw the opportunity to buy this one, I jumped at it, and I thought we'd take it out for a quick spin, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. So, as soon as the road is clear, we'll go. This car is a 2012. It's on 57,000, sorry, that's a complete lie, 50,000 miles. Now, of course, it's uh, it's the sort of newer, newer Z car after the 350, 3.7. It's got about 30 or 40 more horsepower than the 357. It's slightly shorter. It obviously looks a lot nicer on the outside and on the inside. It feels far more modern in here. The steering wheel no longer feels like you're, you're driving a Nissan Navara pickup truck anymore. Um, whether it uh, it shares the steering wheel with any other models, I don't know. I'm not that up to date with the Nissan models, but it certainly looks more fitting for a sports car now. Um, so I've done a little bit of driving in this car and it definitely feels quicker than the 350, that's for sure. Um, and surprisingly because they're not hugely different engines this one's a 3.7 v6 the 350z had a, a 3.5 v6 this one just feels a lot more powerful when you put your foot down which perhaps we'll do in just a sec it's kind of like unrelenting power you expect it to kind of drop off a little bit but it doesn't it just keeps powering and it goes and goes it catches you out just how quick you're actually going um, so it is quicker than the old car that's for sure uh, it's it's a little bit lower therefore it's meant to handle better than the old car which I can't say without putting them side by side I can tell you but it definitely does handle well you can tell it's a big engine up front rear-wheel drive the power kind of builds and surges rather than being sort of spiky and low-end torque. It definitely passes the hooligan test. Um, you're certainly able to have a lot of fun in this car. Handles pretty good actually considering uh, considering the speed and kind of the weight of this car I thought I was expecting a little bit of understeer but I haven't worn this worn the tires up or anything really so it certainly doesn't feel as poised as perhaps in the other video where I showed you the uh, the old 986 Boxster through these lanes that thing you know it's just mid-engined is planted and just kind of guides itself around the corners really. This you feel like probably you got to pay attention a little bit more but then it's heavier and you've got a lot more power. So I guess in summary we ought to get to the point of the video should you buy an Nissan 370Z and I guess if you're watching this video you probably already like the looks and the idea of a Nissan 370Z if you are in the, the market for a, a big engine sports car, then it's definitely a great choice. This over the 350Z, is it a better investment or not? I honestly can't tell you, but in comparison to the 350Z, it does feel an awful lot more modern car, even down to the technology. Of course, it is the newer model. And Japanese electronics never feel the most up to date. But on the whole, just the whole car and, and the seats and the interior, on, even the road noise, I think, is, is better in this than in, uh, in a 350Z. Um, 
why not? You only live once. I don't think these are going to drop massively in value very quickly at all. In fact, they'll probably hold their value really well and uh, perhaps now is not the time to buy one if you're an investor. But they will go up in value again. If you look after yours, keep the value, um, keep the mileage low and keep the maintenance up. This is a car that in the future will become a collector's car for sure. Um, they don't make an awful lot of cars like this now. So on the whole, I think if you like the idea of a 370Z, you can afford to insure it, you can afford to run it and maintain it, then absolutely you should buy one. Um, and I would encourage you to do that. Even this one will be up for sale, potentially by the time this video is out. Um, but certainly try one and uh, see what you think.